Hey Wookiees, Rebels, and more. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be in episode two and we are going to be dealing in the final duel of the film. I'm going to be breaking this down into two parts with this one being part one. Uh, we'll be focusing on Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Dooku and their part of the fight and all the problems I think we can try and solve in post-production. Uh, we'll be going through the whole thing. I'm going to be trying to fix this entire duel and just trying to make it feel better and make it more organic. And before we get into the first edits, I want to start with my biggest problem in this fight, where Obi-Wan and Anakin both telegraph their fights. Now, I understand that these two Jedi have never been in a lightsaber duel before, but I still, it breaks my immersion when Anakin sits there for two minutes waiting for his arm to be chopped off. Or in this case where Obi-Wan, who clearly understands strategy, decides to say the plan out loud. Let's look at the before. You're gonna pay for all the Jedi that you killed today, Dooku. We'll take him together. You're going slowly on the left. We'll take him now! No, Anakin, no! So if we look, Obi-Wan says, we'll take him on the left. I don't feel like Obi-Wan should be telling Count Dooku, even if it's whispering, I f feel like he said it loud enough to where Count Dooku would be able to hear him being like, oh, okay, so Obi-Wan's gonna take me on the left, and then I guess Anakin will take me on the right. Obi-Wan should have an understanding that they are outmatched. And while he's right to take Dooku on as a team, he unfortunately telegraphs what they're about to do. So in my opinion, Anakin rushing in and not listening to Obi-Wan is just as silly as Obi-Wan telling Count Dooku what their attack strategy is about to be. So in my edit, I've just cut that out. So Obi-Wan says, we're going to take him together, followed by Anakin saying, I'm gonna take him now. See how it plays out. You're gonna pay for all the Jedi that you killed today, Dooku. We'll take him together. Now! No, Anakin, no! No! And to me, this just makes more sense. But let's keep moving on. You might notice these adjustment layers right here, and that's because I wanted to include this lens dirt to the Force Lightning. Uh, this is to try and make the lightning feel more tangible, more real, and just more powerful overall. I feel most people won't even notice an effect like this, but I feel like adding this little touch makes Dooku's force lightning feel that much more powerful. Let's look at it one more time with it. No! The Obi-Wan and Dooku fight pretty much plays like it normally does in the film, and we're gonna skip ahead to when Anakin joins the fight. I also cut this shot a little bit right here, because I felt like it was a little too clunky of choreography, and it lasts for like two seconds. So I wanted to cut straight to this moment where Obi-Wan pulls Dooku down, and it kind of, kind of works really well. All right, here's a bigger change I've made. So in the original cut, after Obi-Wan gets knocked down, he lays there and Dooku takes his time. We get a shot of Anakin. And Dooku takes his time to telegraph his move so that Anakin can like see what's happening and choose to attack back. I think we remove Dooku doing twirls I feel like we could give Dooku better treatment if he just goes in for the kill instead of spinning his lightsaber beforehand. And then we can mix Anakin coming in early to be a surprise, not something that's telegraphed to the audience. So now let's watch my version. Brave if you want. And we can see that that faster pace just kind of adds to this very, very slow and clunky fight. And I feel like every little increment that we make will ultimately make this fight better overall. This next part worked out really well for me. So in the original version, Obi-Wan tosses Anakin the lightsaber. They fight, they cut to Obi-Wan struggling, and then back to Anakin. I don't think we need to see Obi-Wan out. 
The fact that Obi-Wan throws his lightsaber to Anakin so that Anakin can dual wield tells the audience that Obi-Wan is saying, I'm out of the fight. We don't need a shot of him just struggling on the ground. And on top of that, it slows the pacing down of the fight. And I found that the original editor right here, what he did was he had this clip cut here to Obi-Wan and then continued the clip. But when I put when I cut Obi-Wan out, I noticed that it was the same clip just cut in half. So as a re-editor, I can just make this one long clip and keep my audience focused on the action instead of cutting to Obi-Wan wincing on the ground. All right, it's time for this part. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the, the duel in episode two is kind of known for this bad choreography right here, where they just turned off the lights and then Anakin and Dooku just kind of swung back and forth and it doesn't feel like it's all close up shots. It doesn't feel tangible. And it just makes the fight feel fake in every sense of the word. Let's watch the original cut. So you can see them just swinging and... And then we get back into the action. But up until this point, it's pretty awkward to go back and forth and back and forth. I didn't want to get rid of that completely because those are good shots and I think it could work really well if we really just paced through that. If we went back and forth and back and forth between Anakin and Dooku at a very fast pace instead of the very slow pace that they chose to do. So in my edit, you can see how fast we paced through this moment. The final edit is coming up right here and it's when Anakin inevitably loses his arm. So if we go right here and watch the original, they fight and then Anakin sits here forever. And he actually, and if we watch, he, he like, he just opens up his arms for Dooku. He stands there Dooku does a full spin while he's still there. I understand that there's a level of grace that we need to put on choreography, but I have a hard time letting this stay in the movie where Anakin has his lightsaber up in front of him and Count Dooku does a full 180 in front of him. But if we look two clips earlier, Dooku actually does a spin right here and Anakin has his back turned to Dooku. And we can mix this with the arm being cut off. So let's watch it. I think we need a little more room on it actually. Let's push this forward, move it just right there. So we get to see Dooku do a full spin. Yeah, that feels right. Let's look. And it's almost like it takes you by surprise, which I really like. So Anakin and Dooku's duel comes to a complete end because Dooku gets the upper hand and it wasn't telegraphed like it was in the original. Anakin doesn't wait for Dooku to cut his arm off. Instead, it happens out of nowhere. It happens all of a sudden. And as an audience, we almost have to do a double take that that even happened. Why is Obi-Wan looking at <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I've never noticed that. Uh, anyways, this is my edit for Obi-Wan, Anakin versus Dooku. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.